Hello class. Uh, today I'm going to show you a few things in SOAP UI. Um, a couple of topics I'd like to talk about today. The first one is um, I'm going to show you how to create a SOAP project. I'm going to show you how to create your request message. I'm going to also show you how to create a test suite. And lastly, I'll show you how to put in checkpoints into your SOAP project. So let's, let's get started. And in this tutorial, I'll be using the weather um, wisdom. So I believe in the last class, I showed you how to um, uh, create a project using a wisdom. OK, so I'm going to open my SOAP PY. I'm going to go File, New SOAP Project, and I'll give it a name. So I'm going to call this Monday Demo. And it's asking me for a wisdom. So the wisdom I'm so the wisdom I'm gonna use is the weather example given to us by SOAP UI. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put this into SOAP UI. Okay. And I'm gonna press OK. So right away, you can see SOAP UI has created a project for me. It's called Monday Demo, and I have three services in there. Now, sometimes you might see a duplicate. Just ignore it. So in my, um, in my web service called Weather Soap, I have a service called Get City Forecast by zip code. I also have another service. It's called Get City Weather by zip code. And the last one is get weather information. So let's get started. I'm going to play with the first one, the get city forecast by zip code. I'll click on the request one. And right away, I can see this is the endpoint. So this is where the web service lives over the internet. And this is a request message. And the question mark is basically what you need to put into this request message for it to work. I have a few examples of zip codes here that I'm going to pull up. 48174. So I'm going to type this into my request message and I will press play. So right away, we can see the weather. Um, this is in Detroit. It's in a city called Romulus. And you can see the weather, a seven day forecast for Romulus. So that's a web service, and I just call a weather network web service. Okay, and the same thing we can do here for the second web service. I can open this up, and I can give it the same zip code, or maybe a different zip code. I've got another one here. Three 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 five one. So I will use this three 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 five one, and the web service is. Get city weather by zip code. So I'll run this. And as you can see, this is the current temperature in Fort Lauderdale. Pompano Beach, that's a station city. And the weather is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. OK, so now I have two web services. And I've shown you guys how to create a SOAP project um, and how to invoke a web service. So the next thing I would like to show you is how to create a test suite. So what is a test suite? Imagine having 30 test cases where you have to keep changing the zip code. So imagine one of your test cases 3351, and the next test case is 33352. And every time you have to come into your request message to change the postal code and run it, this takes a lot of time. And this is, quite frankly, a manual way of doing it. So the best way to do that is to create a test case. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a test case with these two web services. So the first one, I'll right click on it, and I will say add a test case. And SOPIO is going to ask me for a test case name, or a test suite name, rather. And I can say test suite Monday. So this is the name of my test suite package. 
I pressed the OK button, and now it's asking me, hey, give the test case a name. So to do that, I will give the test case a name, and I will say test case 1, and I can say this is get city forecast by zip. I'll press the OK button, and I'll press the OK button. So as you can see in here, I now have a test suite. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of this screen here, but just bear with me. Um, anyways, I'm sure you can see the screen. I'm going to try and move it a little bit. Oh, there we go. It's gone. Lovely. So now I have a test suite called Monday. This is my test suite. Let's minimize this. And um, I have one test case, which is essentially the test case for this uh, request message. OK, so I'll do that again for the next one. I'll right click on the next uh, web service. And I will say add to test case. Then it's, I have three options. Do I want to add this to an existing test suite? an existing test case, or an existing test suite and a new test case, or do you want to create a new test suite entirely? The safest option is, or the, you know, the most popular one is number two, meaning I want to add a new test case to an existing test suite. So I'll pick the second one. Now I'm going to give it a name, so I'm going to say test case 2, and I'll call this get city weather um, that's enough. Press the OK button to save it, and I'll press the OK again. So as you can see right away, I have a test suite, and my test suite looks like this. I've got two test cases in my test suite. Now, the beauty of this is I can run my test suite at once. You know, rather than having to change my request message back and forth, I have a test package that I can just push the play button and everything runs at the same time. So let's try this out. So to run your test suite, double click on the test suite Monday. And in there, you can see I've got two test cases. So I've got test case one and test case two. Push the play button, and I have two test cases that I just ran and both completed. So that is how you create a test suite using SOAP UI. Now, the last topic I'd like to show you is how to set checkpoints. What is a checkpoint? A checkpoint is what you would do manually yourself when you'd run in a test. For example, your first checkpoint was you put in its um, postal code in here, zip code, and you push play. You expect to get back for Lauderdale. You expect to get back a name of a certain beach in Florida. You expect the state to be Florida. This is things you do manually. Now, once you have the computer do the test for you, you also want to put these checks in place. So when you push the play button, the computer checks all these things for you. To do that, we call it a session point. And I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. Um, so let's go back into our test case. And I'm going to open up my script. So for my first test case, I want to verify that the this postal code or this zip code always returns Michigan as my state. So what I'll do is this. I'll click on this icon here. It says add a session. But before you do that, make sure you copy what exactly it is you want to verify. So I'm going to copy this, highlight, press right click, copy. Then I'll go into my session point. I'll use the contains, contains. So in, in the session box, I'm going to paste in 
what exactly I want to verify. So I want to verify that the state is always Michigan. Um, this is to ignore the case, in case you work in an environment where uppercase and lowercase is not a concern to you, then you can ignore the case. And the last one, you can just ignore it for now. So let's press OK. And as you can see, the accession has gone up to number two. In class, I showed you the first one. So the first one is by default. It's basically SOAP UI, checking to make sure that you have a valid response message coming back. So now we've got two accession points. So whenever I run this check, there's always a check to make sure that the state being returned is Michigan. Okay, so let's try that again. I will create a session point for another test case. And let's see what happens. So let me close my workspace, make it light. And I'm gonna open up the next test case, which is guest city weather by zip code. Let's open that up. And I always wanna make sure that when you run this, I wanna make sure that the city is Fort Lauderdale. So I'm going to highlight the city's name, copy, click on this icon in here, click on contain, add, I'll put my statement in there. Be very careful of empty spaces, make sure you have no space. So take that out and after city as well, take out the empty space after city. And I'll press the OK button. Now I've got two accessions in here. And when I run this, my, my test of my session passed. Now, if I click on my test suite and I run this, both of my test cases passed. To make sure you're doing the right thing, if I go back into my test case and I change the zip code from 33351 to 33352, now watch what would happen when I run the test suite test case should fail. There you go. As you can see, the bottom one failed. And when you click on the, the test case, there will be a message on the bottom that will tell you why the test case failed. So you are saying basically, hey, I was expecting the city to be Fort Lauderdale, and the city wasn't. Okay, class, so this is how you use SOAP UI to test a web service. I've showed you how to create a request message. I've showed you how to create a test suite, and I've showed you how to add checkpoints into your test suite. And the whole point of this is you want to become efficient in testing web services. So that's the end of this um, video session. If you have any questions, as always, you can reach me by email or by Skype.